Mike Moore Media. I'm checking in with our friends at the Madison Med and Recreation Department. Director Lee Mitchell is on the line. Hey, Lee, boy, lots of things happening. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, it's that time of year. We're, we're, we're up and rolling and got tons of stuff going on here. Well, we're ready for an update. Okay, all tell right. us all about it. Well, well, number one, next weekend is always our big holiday mall. Uh, I talked about it last time, but it's, it's, it's upon us now. So next Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., out here on the front lawn of the Mass Men and Rec, we'll have uh, over 60 vendors here. Uh, we'll have four food, uh, food trucks, and a, a, you should expect a crowd of 500 plus here. So it, uh, uh, definitely want to get some of your shopping done, uh, knocked out for the holidays. Uh, come here to the Rec next weekend, and we'll take care of that for you. So that is Saturday, November 12th. What are the hours on that, Lee? It's 9 to 1. Uh, in addition to, uh, we'll also have uh, pictures with Santa upstairs in the gym. So if you want to knock that out nice and early, you can, you can do that next weekend also. Sure, yeah. Uh, I've kind of lost track. Is this the third year, maybe, for that? This is year number four. Four, uh, fourth yeah. year. Yep. Okay. We've been outside twice. We was inside once. But, yeah, they love it outside, so we're sticking with the theme. It's to be honest, it's less clean up for us anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so that that's a, certainly a, a special event, Holiday Mall on November 12th. Okay, got it. All right, the other big thing is our Dewey's Bakery just opened up uh, on the 1st. So uh, we're, we're open and ready for business, and they got a lot of new products here. Uh, and even more to come, they said, in the next week or two. So if, if you need to get any of that Dewey uh, shopping done, we'll, we, we're here for you. Oh, my goodness, we love Dewey's. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can't beat those sugar cakes and uh, and uh, those cookies. So uh, we, We've got a pretty good stock now, but like I said, they got even more products coming in all uh, all through the holidays. Okay, good. So uh, what what are the hours? Do you have the hours? Do they vary much? Yeah, uh, Monday through Friday is from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and then on Saturday it's from 9 a.m. to noon. Okay. All right. I'm jotting those down so I don't miss. Okay. Now, the, now the other thing is uh, we are doing a fresh order, so if any folks need to order uh, some fresh items, uh, to, for us to pick up, we, we do a pickup for Thanksgiving and a pickup for, for Christmas. So what we're doing is uh, we have a, a fresh book. You come here, you order it, you pay for it. We go out to Winston-Salem, pick it up for you, bring it back here, and, uh, and that way you have it for your holidays. But uh, what we do for that one is we have a deadline on Thanksgiving for Friday, November 18th is mm-hmm. your deadline to get your Thanksgiving order into us so we can pick it up. And then uh, pick up for that would be on Tuesday, November 22nd. Okay. And, and then at Christmas, we haven't nailed that one down just, just yet, but we will do another one for Christmas also. That's nice. That's, that's really convenient. Thanks for, for making that happen. Okay. Absolutely. We, we, just had, we have a few, you know, some seniors that really love Dewey's, and talk, you know, so uh, we give them that opportunity to place that order here. So it keeps them from having to drive all that way or finding somebody that can get, pick up something for them. So we do that for them. So. Sure. Okay. Another, another nice service. Yeah, but, uh, another big thing we got coming up is uh, we're having our Christmas Jubilee trip out to Ruby Theater in Selma. Uh, the actual deadline to register for that one, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that might be today. Uh, but they're going out there Friday, December 9th. Uh, uh, going to leave at 8 a.m., come back about 5.30, enjoy uh, a nice play at the theater there, uh, beautiful Ruby Theater. The cost is only 60 bucks, and... We usually have about you know we have thirty forty uh, people usually go to that event so uh, hopefully uh, we can fill that up for more folks uh, if they want to come out to that that trip then come on sign up mm-hmm. okay that sounds like fun okay yep. and then the other one our craft club for the month uh, we're they're building gingerbread houses on November twenty first cost is only five bucks and uh, we got. Uh, our senior center assistant, Denise, has uh, got that all planned, ready to go. She's buying kits for everybody. So uh, you want to have a good social time and build you a, a gingerbread house, come on out on the 21st. The only thing to do is sign up here at the front desk. All right. Lots of good holiday things happening there. Wonderful. Yep. And then, uh, as always, our choir concert, which is always a big event for us. Uh, Faye uh, and the choir always does a great job, but our Mass Men, Recre- our, our Mass Men Choir concert will be on december 10th from 11 to 12 p.m uh, doors will open at 10 we will have refreshments and things then uh, but they always do a great job put on a great show mm-hmm. yeah. and again that's a free event so uh, anybody that wants to come out in the community come on and join us and, and, and enjoy us a, a great concert by uh, faye and the uh, faith uh, they uh in the group right? yeah so that's december 10th yeah they've been uh, been providing a beautiful music for many many years haven't they oh they have they, they have 
And the uh, other thing they've got going on that same day, what we've, we've been picking back in on the last few years, is uh, we do usually do a stew that same day. Now, what we've noticed is a lot of folks right here do uh, Brunswick stews. Mm-hmm. So we're going to flip the script a little bit, and we're going to do a chicken stew. Number one, it gives you, it gives you something different than what everybody else is doing. So yeah. we're going to do a chicken stew on December 10th. Uh, and then we'll do a pickup here at the rec from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And anybody that wants to pre-order, the only thing to do is call us here at the rec to pre-order that uh, quart. We're doing it seven dollars a quart. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, we, and, and, and Kenneth, the same gentleman that done our Brunswick stew, is, our, is also our uh, Kenneth Allen is also our our chicken stew chef. Also. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Kenneth. Yep. Now, uh, getting into some of our athletics that we got going on. Uh, right now, we're in our registration for our youth basketball. So we got our little dribblers clinic for three and four year olds. Uh, we're doing registration for. Uh, what that, that is just uh, the ages three and four. Cause they, they, we do a it's kind of a an introduction to the sport. So instead of doing games and leagues, what they do is we do a clinic each week for them, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll run that for six weeks just just to give them uh, a feel for the game before they jump in the league the next when they turn five. So sure. Uh, also registered for youth basketball. We do it from ages five all the way up to uh, high school. So anybody that's interested in playing that, we're doing registration up to the November 26th on that one. And then uh, with our senior league basketball this year, with our high school, and all of our other age groups we do drafts, but this year for the high schoolers, uh, we're just going to let them pick their own teams. By the time you get to that age, those guys just want to play with their friends. So mm-hmm. what we're doing there is if anybody wants to bring the, their, their entire team, they can register as an entire group so if, uh, for those high school age groups that everybody else will do drafts for. Okay. Now, uh, the last few things I got, uh, one thing we started, and I really want to stress, is uh, we started the uh, Bernie Blaney Scholarship Fund. Uh, we've always done scholarships here, but it's, it's never been really publicized. But now we're seeing such a need, especially after COVID and everything. Mm-hmm. There's a real need in the community, which has always really been there, of giving scholarships for folks that uh, doesn't have the funds to participate in programs here. Yeah. Now we've just put a, a good name with it. Bernie Blaney was the, uh, was the director here at the uh, REC when it first opened. And uh, he was a very, you know, all the here is just his big passion for the community and then giving back to others. So we, we thought it was deserving to name it after him. Mm-hmm. And his family's been terrific to us about helping us get that scholarship uh, funds started already. Uh, so anybody that wants to contribute to the REC to help uh, kids or adults that want to participate in programs or any programs that we got that we may offer for free that, would, that doesn't have funding, uh, this fund is built just for that. Uh, so, so uh, anybody that wants to contribute to the Bernie Blaney Scholarship Fund, then they, they could uh, make a check out to here at the rec or make payment here at the rec. We just had somebody drop off a, a large sum yesterday, and it was uh, it's going to go help a lot of kids, especially with basketball registration coming up. Uh, alone, just in the fall alone, I know we had at least at least 15 kids uh, that signed up for fall sports that did not have uh, money. And just examples, you know, we had we had one gentleman who's uh, on the heart uh, transplant list, and uh, he's on disability, but he's got three kids who want to participate in sport, sports, and that scholarship fund help his kids participate in the sport. Oh, that's wonderful when you can help like that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and again, we just named the fund. It's the folks in the community that's, that's contributing to that fund that's helping these folks out. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. And again, we, you know, we'll never leave those kids behind. So, you know, we've always done it, but this is going to give us even more resources. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. And then another big thing that we got coming up, and, I, and uh, you know, I don't know if, uh, how many people has, has got to meet Karen Riddle, but she's our uh, she's our senior center uh, director here. Uh, unfortunately, she's uh, been diagnosed with stage four cancer, mm. uh, so she's been out. We've got a great team that's really stepped up behind her to, get, to keep things rolling here. But if uh, everybody can keep her in her prayers, uh, she's going through a lot right now. And uh, you know, uh, I told her not to worry about here, and uh, you know, we'll, we we just keep. Uh, keeping her prayers and keeping her thoughts and uh, uh, take care of whatever she needs on this end. And, mm-hmm. and uh, so if you just want to mention that, as, uh, since uh, she's going through a lot, I want to mention that there for the folks that can pray for her. Sure. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's wonderful to be able to help her that way. Sure. Yeah, okay. yeah that's, what, that's what we got going on here at the uh, rec uh, this, this period of time. So it's, it's always a busy season for us. So. Yeah, well, it uh, it is, and uh, I've taken notes, so I've got all these holiday things down that we can participate in and certainly be remembering Karen in our thoughts and prayers, too. Uh, Lee, thank you. Appreciate uh, you and your 
your rec team for uh, all the good things you do. Oh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> okay. Talk to you again next month. All right. Bye. That's Lee Mitchell. He is director of the Madison Med and Recreation Department. Hope you were taking notes with me on all of the uh, special things that are coming up. You can get more information on Facebook at Madison Med and Recreation Department and on Facebook at Madison Med and Senior Center.